This is going to be a uh, Kodigaish practice as a breathing practice. And breathing is of paramount importance uh, for no matter what you do. So in this case, we're going to start nice and stretched out. In breath to gather everything in. And then as we go in, we start the out breath and let it travel from the bottom up the body. So they come in, enter, out breath, turn in breath to gathering again, and then turn again, out breath just on the drop as you turn the wrist over. The wrist actually will turn over by the turn itself. It's just the body turn that turns it over from here to here. You don't intentionally do this. The turn of your body will pull it over, especially when there's some resistance of his, your partner's body weight, but even without it, since we're practicing by ourselves, this way, right? Just, you know, see, this happens. Turns over literally all by itself. Uh, this a little bit gets in the way, but it also shows you what you're doing. So, Extend it out, gather in, enter out, breathe in as you turn it over, push with this leg without shifting yet, so this leg drives up through your back, pulling this over. And drop. So that's finishing the out breath. Once again, extend it out, gather in, in breath, out breath, in breath, out breath. Well, when you enter, so I've gathered in, I'm going to come in, out breath, same as we were doing for the hip throws. A little different because I don't need to move that whole side out, but I'm going to practice it the same way for now. Up. And then turn and drop. Gather in and drop. Okay. So this entering is important. I've got uh, my friend Stephen, for instance, or, and a lot of people can completely resist any kind of torque on the wrist that you may be tempted to rely on. Um, it's not that it shouldn't be there, but it's not the basis of the movement. So you have to go in and take their balance on the entry, not on the turn, not on turning the wrist over, not on dropping your weight on it as hard as you can at the end. It has to be right from the beginning. So this, right? so if he's coming in, uh, say Shomenuchi, I'm going to come in this way. So ends up looking, gathering in, now he shouldn't feel that as an impact, but my movement has to be powerful enough that if it is an impact, it does something. 
um, what I want is for him to be carried along with the movie rather than rather than impacting. So that's the first part. Gathering in, out breath, traveling up. This way. You can, you can try that too, just here and go in, there, and then turn over. Take a green breath, and then this leg pushes up my back. as you turn. And drop on the wrist. From there, knee goes into his armpit. The other knee goes around the top of his shoulder uh, into the base, I'm sorry, so it's this armpit, it's gonna be this neck, this side of the neck, same side. And we pinch the shoulder tightly between the knees and draw him in and up and turn. So this shouldn't be leaning over him. This is just breathing him into you. Everything in and gathered. In, up the body, out breath, push with this leg, and turn, and drop to finish the out breath. So you can practice that last drop. Uh, let me start this way. So I've already turned, and then Keep this at about the same height, same distance from the ground, and try gathering in, up, and drop down. And again, this is not how you apply the technique. This is a practice for getting the correct drop at the end of it. So in, drop, in, drop. So I keep this as best I can down there. Uh, you maybe can start up here a little easier. So now I don't have to reach down. And just in and drop. And it only drops. Um, yeah, that's good. You can also add that at the beginning, here. So we're going to come in, just get the up, All right? So this is different from just jumping. This is into the ground, and my breath travels up the body. So it's really jumping more with your torso them with the legs. Down, in, drop. And you can come, drop. And that's all I had to say about Kotegaish for today. Uh, I can repeat it more, but you can do that on your own.